Welcome to the Book People. I am Ashwarya Zawargekar, a writer, book editor, podcast producer, and the head of originals at Bam. In this path-breaking podcast, I demystify the publishing and creative industries and uncover the biggest opportunities and challenges for writers in India today. I have an exciting announcement to make. What do India's top publishers and creative companies look for when hiring people for jobs? Number 1 how much do you know about the industry and the publishing ecosystem Number 2 do you have any previous experience or certification to show that you're able to understand more about this industry and this job and this company Number 3 proof of skill that you can actually start doing your job from day 1 and they don't have to spend a lot of time training you teaching you on the job so that you're able to work And number 4 really really good strong english language grammar skills now i can't help you with number 4 but if you need help with the first 3 then we have something very exciting for you so bound is launching the bound publishing course this is a 3 month online certificate course where you're going to learn from india's top most experts about every aspect of book and magazine publishing Test your newfound skills in a capstone simulation, and interview and land your dream job at the biggest companies in India. We have recruitment partners such as Penguin Random House, Notion Press, Cactus Communications, News Laundry, and many more on board to immediately get into interviewing you for job and internship applications. So this course starts on 15 September. Check out the link in the description to get more information about the course and to kick start your creative career today. Welcome to another one of my short episodes where I take one pressing question that all of you have and really go into the depth of it. And today we're talking money. So imagine this, right? You're an author, you've written a book, you send it to publishers and you get into a bidding war. where so many publishers want to pick up your book and publish it you know you finally publish the book it becomes an instant hit bestseller you have amazing reviews it gets picked up by oprah for her book club and you become very 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 rich sounds amazing doesn't it but today i'm going to throw a bucket of water on you and focus on what the reality of being an indian author looks like So today we're going to talk about how much money can an Indian author actually make by publishing a book and what exactly are the sources of revenue. So let's dive in. So there are generally three ways that an author makes money through publishing a book and this is talking about traditional publishing. Right? So the first thing that an author gets is an advance. So this is something they get when the contract is signed with the publisher. and essentially an advance is a token amount that the publisher is giving in promise of royalties basically telling the author that you know we want to publish this book right and the advance can vary from a few thousands to maybe 2 3 lakhs 5 lakhs at the most in india and it basically depends on you know how famous or popular the author is if they are someone who have already published a lot of books then their advance would be higher especially if there is proof of success right that the author's book would become a best seller it also depends on what is the subject matter of the book if it is something where the publisher feels like this is going to have you know a huge success and so the publisher wants to incentivize the author by basically giving them more money up front right and the third thing is if it's a non fiction book that requires a lot of research the advance amount is something that also helps authors kind of spend that money in order to do the research especially say it's a travel book and they need to travel a lot to get the information things like that so that is the advance the second source of revenue is royalties royalties are basically the percentage that the author gets out of every book that is sold by the publisher Usually the royalties are also specified in the publishing contract and they are staggered. So if a book sells more than 5000 copies then the royalty percentage would go up. If it sells more than 10000 or 15000 copies the royalty percentage would go up once more. 
in india the royalties range between 7 to 15% and this essentially means that if your royalties are 10% so for every copy of the book sold the author will get 10% of the retail price of the book so authors usually get royalties on a quarterly or an annual basis based on how many copies of the books are sold so this is something that authors get once the book is published and it's out there and it depends on book sales basically and what happens is because the author has received an advance amount earlier the advance amount is kind of deleted or subtracted from the royalties that the author makes with the book so technically an advance is very much a part of the royalties it's just that it's an amount that the author gets beforehand whereas royalties can only be received after the book is published now the third and most variable revenue source for authors is your subsidiary rights and it essentially includes every other way that an author can make money for example if your book is turned into an audiobook so you will get a percentage of the audiobook revenue if your book gets adapted to the screen you get money through that or if it is translated into different languages or if it is sold outside the territory of your original contract so if you have a contract with your publisher for say india or indian subcontinent south asia right and then the book starts getting sold in the uk and it gets sold to a uk publisher so that would be an additional source of income to whatever you already know that you're going to get through your royalties and your um advance and this really varies right because most books don't get picked up for the screen but if your book does get picked up that's a huge revenue source that gets added to what you already thought that you would get through the book sales themselves right so there's a lot of scope here and so whenever if you are an author looking at a contract you should definitely look at the details of the subsidiary rights and look at what rights you want to keep what rights you want to give away things like that but one thing to keep in mind is that this revenue that gets generated by say your book getting adapted to the screen that revenue amount is split between the publisher and the author so even in this case in the contract there would be specific percentages of how much the author would keep and how much the publisher would keep and if you have a literary agent then the literary agent would also get a piece of the pie so let's math Now you can expect a debut author publishing their very first book to make less than two thousand copies usually. I know that's very disheartening, but that is the reality in India. And so let's take an estimate of a thousand copies. Say you're an author who has sold a thousand copies of your book, right? And now the book retails at say two fifty rupees, which again is an arbitrary price because this can also range. and the retail price is basically what the book is being sold at in bookstores or on amazon right so what is the price at which readers are buying the book now if that price is 250 what that means is that the publisher has probably sold copies of the book from their end at 200 rupees right so 200 is then what gets calculated to look at your royalty amount now 200 rupees per copy 1000 copies sold so that means the revenue generated by selling this book is 2 lakh rupees now out of this 2 lakh rupees if the royalty percentage that the author is getting is 10% that essentially means that the author has got 20000 rupees so now from these 2 lakh rupees if your royalty percentage is 10% then you as an author get 20000 rupees in hand right let that sink in so that's 20000 rupees that you as an author make for however long you spent months years writing this book editing this book getting the book published making whatever marketing efforts you made to ensure that the book sold well and what you get in hand is 2000 rupees and if you have a literary agent agents usually get 10% of what authors make right so then your agent would be taking 2000 rupees from your 20000 which means at the end of the day you have 18000 rupees in hand now obviously since the royalties depend on sales it's very much possible that your book sells you know thousands and 10000s of copies and it becomes a best seller and the more copies you sell obviously the more money you make right in india any book that sells over 10000 copies is considered a best seller 
So let's look at what are the factors that actually affect book sales and in that way impact how much money you can make as an author. So the first point obviously is the popularity of the author. Now, if as an author, you are someone who already has a huge social media following or an audience built in a ready readership to buy the book, then that ensures that more copies of the book would get sold, which is again something that publishers are really looking for, right? So which is why publishers look for authors with a ready audience because it guarantees a certain number of sales. The second factor that really impacts sales is the subject matter and the category of the book. So usually non-fiction books are easier to sell and have a wider readership than fiction books simply because non-fiction books are also read by non-readers, right? People who are just interested in that particular topic or want to know more about that versus fiction, which always has this very ardent readership of people who are heavy readers. So that does make a difference. And that's why a lot of publishers as well prefer to publish a lot more non-fiction nowadays. And obviously within fiction and non-fiction, the categories of the genres that you're publishing in obviously matter. For example, in non-fiction, self-help is currently doing really well. So one would expect that a self-help book would generate more sales, but obviously that depends on how well the book is written as well. Then book formats are also something that make a huge difference. Obviously, we have print books, but now ebooks and especially audiobooks have been gradually increasing in sales. And this kind of counts in the total sales figure of the books and counts under your subsidiary rights, especially for audiobooks, in terms of how much money you make. Another factor that's really important is the credibility and the marketing efforts of the publishers. Now, publishers usually make some amount of marketing effort for every book on their list. But what they also do is that they choose to spend more money in marketing and promoting books where they anticipate more sales. So usually a debut author's book will not get that much marketing exposure or that much money spent by the publisher in terms of marketing the book. But obviously we know that the better visibility, more visibility that a book gets, the more possibility of its sales numbers going high. One surprising thing though is that awards and prizes which you would expect to have a good big impact on sales don't really impact sales as much. So even if a book wins like a JCB prize or any other kind of prize, it doesn't really have a massive impact on sales as much as we would expect it to have. Although maybe international prizes like the Booker Prize would impact the book sales to a certain extent. So how much money can an author really make by publishing a book? The answer is not that much. I mean, obviously this varies based on the author's success, based on how many books are published, based on a variety of factors in terms of the subject matter as well. Certain events can lead to certain books being pushed or readership going up. For example, during the pandemic, there were a lot of pandemic related books, COVID related books that were published that obviously had a very ready audience to kind of consume them. So this is very variable. But as an author, if you're thinking of quitting your day job to write full time, that's not something that is sustainable unless you have other incomes in place, right? So usually people cannot, absolutely cannot sustain themselves only by writing books. In fact, in an article in 2019, Durja Datta, who himself at that point had published 15 books, talks about how he can't sustain himself only on the money he makes from writing either. And most writers can't, right? Unless you're like a Stephen King or I don't know, like a Dan Brown, who are publishing as much in order to sustain themselves simply through the money they get by publishing the book. So how do authors make money? So a lot of authors make additional income through speaking gigs, through workshops, through, you know, writing in other formats or hosting things or starting podcasts, things like that. So basically alternative methods where they can take that expertise that they have in writing or in the subject that they are an expert at and they can take it to a variety of formats, right? So that is the way that authors are currently focusing on making money. In conclusion. If you're trying to write and publish a book to make money, stop now. That's not going to work at all. But 
if you're writing and publishing a book simply because of the joy of writing because you're a writer because you want fame you want to see your name published on a book and you want people to read your thoughts for all of these ideas definitely definitely go through the publishing process and enjoy it i hope you enjoyed this episode of the book people let me know if there are any other pressing questions that you want me to answer about the publishing industry and the opportunities that exist for writers in the creative industries as a whole and don't forget to check out the bound publishing course the details of which will be in the description below this is an amazing 3 month course that we have come up with we're very excited to help people learn the skills to work in the industry and to get jobs and internships to actually start working in the industry so i expect a lot of you to check out the course to maybe come for the course learn from the best of india's publishers and publishing experts and by jan 2024 hopefully start working in the industry just like us